Hello, welcome to Bailey Custom Shirts, where we teach you and show you how we run our screen printing t-shirt apparel company here in beautiful Southwest Florida. Now, continue watching, like and subscribe, and continue watching and check out the next episode. Let's have fun. Hello, welcome back to Bailey Custom Shirts. This tutorial is going to cover how to create your own registration marks for screen printing and outputting film positives. But we have to do it in an editing program. So, for an example, we are actually going to use Adobe Illustrator. I typically also use um, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop. There's other programs out there that are very useful. Uh, they're very well known and um, that's the job. So, but I like to use Adobe Illustrator because it's a vector program. That's another topic, but let's go ahead and get started. Enough with the chat. All right, how to create registration marks for free. Here we go. So first I like to start with, I need rulers. I need to see how large my print area is. And I like to go by my own company's information as far as the print area and my manual press what it allows i like to stick stick with 12 by 12 maximum so to do that we like to go ahead and set our rulers rulers so we're going to go ahead and select control hit control r shows the rulers or you can go to edit or you go to view rulers which will show up right here okay let's get started all right, so we're gonna go ahead and view, and we're gonna go also make sure that the layers panel is open as well. We're gonna select that, so a new layer. Here we go. So we're gonna gonna go ahead and go to the shape tool on the left hand side. I like to have mine on the left hand side, and I will select the shape tool. I will go to rectangle. I like to zoom in, Control P, and we're gonna go ahead and draw our rectangle. I like to have it about 0 0.5. I guess, there we go. I'll zoom in a little bit. I like to have the stroke at between 2 and 3. Let's go ahead and go with 3. Okay. I like to make sure it's aligned center. So we're going to go to this tool up here, Horizon Alignment Center. We're going to select that. It's going to have it in the center of the artboard. To double check, you can just use your guide. 6.5, it's dead center. Okay, just to double check. Um, you also can go back to the shape tool and we're gonna select the line segment tool. Okay, and we're gonna draw a line about, let's see, one inch. Okay, go back to the toolbar selection tool, you or you can hit V and you can move that in the center. To duplicate duplicate that, you will select the actual line segment here. Control and drag it down. Use the transform tool here and rotate it 90 degrees. Move it up in the middle, and there you go. Create registration marks. Now that's not it. So again, we want it to be about 0 0.25 in width and height. So we don't want it to be too big. Okay. So to do that, we have to make sure that these shapes are all grouped. To do that, you hit Control A, right click, and you got Group or select Control Group or go to the object, select Object, and go to Group. All right, so this Group, we're gonna go ahead and drag it all the way into the about 0 0.5, close as possible, and that's our registration mark, right there. Now, I like to set a mark here. I don't like to print at the edge of the transparency. I like to have it about one inch from the top. And I move my registration mark in the middle. To make sure it's perfect, I just hit my horizontal line center and it's in the center. Now, to make a duplicate, you can go to right. You can go to, you just select this here. Alt and just drag it all the way down. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag that down. Again, I'm not going to use the entire print area. So I like to bring another ruler down. 
I like to have it about 16. I'm bringing this down here. And you can see the smart guides that are purple to make sure it's identical as far as the alignment and the placement. Okay, so but to double check, I just select both registration marks. I right click to group them. And if I wanted to put them on the left hand side, they will move together. So I know that it's, they are identical. Okay, so now it's time to input my artwork to go ahead and I'll put my film positives. Now, some people like to have multiple. Uh, you could, again, you can select multiple uh, and you can have it. You can duplicate this here and you can bring it over here if you want one over here. You know, um, but I like to have two less work. All right, so that's how you create registration marks in Adobe Illustrator. And you also can turn it off and on as well. Next video will show you how to separate colors to output the film positive. Thank you for watching.